here's a great technique yet. Emotional tool, has emotions of its own. So I really want you to relax your grip with the razor, okay? Swivel, watch how we're gonna work with the swivel on this. So the idea is this. When you think about a razor, you have the toe and you have the heel. You'll use the heel and you're gonna use the toe. The toe will be your entry point. The heel will be your exit point. Now this is any great for any time you desire to take out texture inside. So I really want you to understand the density. Sam believes that a razor is not meant for every person or every texture. So let's take a look at the technique. So I want you to come in. I want you to think about your three basic movements, elevation, over direction, and finger angle. In this particular case, razor angle. Think about those three movements. Anytime we make a mistake in a haircut, it's gonna be in those three movements. So the way we adjusted our elevation, the way we adjusted our over direction, or how we adjusted our finger angle. And remember, everything happens at once in a consistent motion. With a razor, it's much more visual, much more feel when working with a razor. Sheer, much more technical with visual. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is I want you to release the razor out of your hand, hold it like you're gonna write your name and hold it like a pencil, okay? So I'm gonna insert toe. So I go toe, I slide out with toe. Now watch what I'm gonna do. When I wanna go back, I come back through, I drop down to heel and I push away. Okay, now watch my insertion. Think about where you insert your entry point. You do not want your entry point way down close to the scalp or we're gonna to get too, too short. Allow me to give you a different visual here. Take a look now. Okay, so we're gonna come through. We're gonna to go toe. And now I'm gonna reverse and I'm gonna push that next strand out. Now watch me come to this one. Toe. And now watch me drop, heel, push. And toe. So I come in, cut, and push, and cut, and push, and cut, and push. So I'm using toe and heel for this particular technique so I get a little bit more degree of softness inside a fringe area if that's where you choose to use it. Once again, product of choice, Redken Shine Flash 02. Sam, could I cut this using it on wet hair? Remember, you could do this on wet hair, but once again, it's really important that you understand when the hair is wet, hair gathers, you're going to take out a lot more hair. Hope you enjoyed this hot tip, and remember, we will always come at you with some hot tips that you can use behind the chair. Establish some enthusiasm by that chair by challenge yourself to do some things differently. And remember, Sam Villa will be there for you. Have a great day behind the chair. Talk to you soon.